Welcome back. We'd like to introduce you to an <laughs> up-and-coming fellow journalist based in Orem, been in the business for three years, industrious, articulate, and fearless. And likes to jump in mud puddles. <laughs> Some days you'll have our job here. Peter Rosen and also photojournalist Tanner Sigworth have her story. Whoever suggested children oh, I feed drafts, um, lettuce before. should be seen and not heard. Have you guys seen our call this monkeys to our left? Would have met their match. I see them. It's so cute. In seven year old May. They're so cute. They're little babies. What do you want to do next? May's name in Japanese means bound to light. And ever since May was born, it's just glowing, huge, like the sunshine. When other three-year-olds wanted play dates, her mom Jackie says. May started begging me that she wanted a business or a job, and it was May relentless. Wanted a job. So I was in the front yard, and I was talking to a neighbor. I was aware that she was running around the cul-de-sac doing something. She was selling her artwork. That was a pretty big moment when she had the money, and I could see the satisfaction on her face, and I thought, there's no way to rewind this. Next thing mom knew. Hey, what's the name of every pet in the neighborhood, mom? And I said, geez, kid, I don't know. And let's grab this page. May was on the phone polling pet owners. I wanted to know all of the pets in the neighborhood. She ended up compiling a list of 80 pets and 23 people. There's so many cows, I can't even count them. That list. I know almost all of these pets. Became May's messenger. You're going to be a bit shocked. A newspaper about a little girl. Climbing trees takes a lot of practice. And her work. I like watermelon. I like noodles. Mud puddles? Yes, yes, yes. I love jumping in the mud over here puddles. It's fun to do surveys. Would you rather be a dog or a duck? A dog. Have flowers or a stinky house? Flowers. <laughs> Who comes up with the ideas? Who comes up with the stories? May. Your editor in chief. Yeah. And senior reporter? Yes. And Godzilla and destroying cars. <laughs> Her little brother, Ren, is now on staff. Yeah. He's like the comic person, the funny person. <laughs> sneaky farts are hiders. They are just sneakies. Sneaky farts, they come in the bath. He's the junior reporter. Yeah, he's the junior reporter, and he's just, she's just the typist. And she's just the yeah. typist. May likes to say, Mom, you're just the typist. We don't want to hit anyone with this no. car. Now they're not just kids at the zoo. So this is all of his notes for his interview. They're kid reporters chasing a story. It's Ossie Mau Mau. About red pandas. What time does red pandas wake up? What time do they wake up? Well, they are crepuscular. Can you say crepuscular? Crepuscular. Good job. Why do you like the red pandas so much? Oh, they're just so active. How do you get the animals back in their cages if they escape? Ren and May do interviews. You like how cute it is? Okay, let me have my mom write that down. Mommy! And mom transcribes them. It's just fun to talk to people and learn new things. I've interviewed car people. Veterinarians, muralists, graffiti artists. An interview with a rabbi. Are you ever scared of talking to people? I never know. She's never been afraid. Her first horse vaulting lesson, the teacher came up afterwards and said, she's fearless. I like that. They dictate stories. I want to tell you about Jane Goodall. And mom types them up. Jane Goodall, she loves chimpanzees. First, we're going to lay it out. She lays it out on a page. Imagine there's a D there, just we don't have an extra D, so we're going to have to make a copy. The Earth Day edition for what's now called Kid News goes to print. We print it on the $25 copier. Then to mom's sewing machine. It's all about how um, we can treat the earth, and then it's how about the earth and facts about the earth. And then to subscribers and others. She ended up with like 70 subscribers. You make hundreds of copies? Hundreds of copies. I think it turned out good. Thanks to May's fearlessness. Just give it a whirl in life and just see how it goes. She has a voice. She has good ideas. Hello, this is the newspaper. Well, what she says, I think, is important. It's extremely validating to children to see their words in print. Children should be seen and heard. I have learned that kids' voices really matter. And her mom says, red. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. <laughs> Is that cute or what? Way to go, May. That's not the end of her, that's for sure. You can find a link to the latest edition of the newspaper at ksltv.com. I need to step up my parenting uh, skills. Right? I'm just feeling like I'm not giving it my yeah. all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'd be a good typist.